guys, what's up? It's me, Jackie, and welcome back to this week's video. So, for this week, I have a very exciting one for you guys. I'm actually going to be doing a fall clothing haul. I told myself at the end of summer I would stop spending money on clothing, but you know what? With the new season rolling around, we have to stock up our wardrobe with cute and new fall pieces. So, I'm bringing you guys everything from clothing to a pair of shoes to jewelry, all on an affordable budget because I am in college, so it's not like I can be spending a pretty penny on all of these items. And also, this is a try-on haul, so you best believe we're going to try everything on to see what it looks like on me. Also, everything I can find will be linked down below in the description box, so make sure to check that out if you love any of the pieces that you see here. So if you guys would like to see the pieces that I got for this fall season and want to get inspired for how to make your wardrobe cute on an affordable budget, just go ahead and keep watching. Okay guys, so the first store we're going to start off with is going to be Shein. I got most of my pieces from here, so that's why we're starting off with a banger. I've shopped in this store multiple times, and I can say that they don't really ever let me down. So, let's get started. I'm going to start off with a couple of tank tops that I purchased. I know, why wear a tank top in the fall season? But I live in California, so it's not like it gets super, super cold out here anyways. A tank top with a jacket is honestly perfectly fine for the fall season. I decided to get these tank tops in fall colors just to match the season, you know? So the first one that I got is actually this little black one right here. It's hard to tell the pattern of it, like in this lighting, but it's basically just a cropped tank top with ruffly straps, and then it has this ruched boob area, I guess, and then it ties up in the front. I got this in a size small, just thought it would fit me perfectly, and I'm absolutely in love with this. The next two I have here are actually the same style. So the first one I have here is actually this red color. As you can tell, the style that I'm talking about is just that it has the ruched top with the lines going down. I feel like this has been super popular, especially during the summer season, but transitioning to fall, I decided to get dark colors for obvious reasons. The next one I got in that style was a green color. I feel like past me wouldn't have gotten a green top, but you know what? I feel like this green is pale enough to not look like a booger green. So yeah, I just got that exact same shirt, size small and a green. Okay, next tank top is this one right here. This is just a white ribbed tank top with this wording in the front here, which just says angel baby with two little angels on it. I feel like this top is so adorable and a replica of honestly what you would see in stores like Urban Outfitters got this in a size medium just that it would fit a little bit looser especially to wear with like sweatpants and i'm in love with this tank top pretty good material stretchy and not super see-through so last tank top i got from shein is going to be this pink one here i love this light rose color so this is this one it's a unique take on a basic tank top because of the side ruching this is definitely something i would see on like princess polly i'm just absolutely in love with this got this in a size small and you can make these as short or long as you want because it just simply unties and does that. So the next shirt that I got from Shein is actually going to be this short sleeve one. Super similar to honestly what I'm wearing right now, but you know what? This is a different fabric, so it gives off a whole different vibe. It's basically just a little cardigan here that you can wear layered or unlayered if you would like. This is a dupe of what I have seen on Princess Polly. I feel like I've seen these all over the place, just styled up or down, and I got it in a size small just because I didn't want it to be super oversized. Happy with this one. Okay, next two tops I have here from Shein are actually long sleeves. Wow, Jackie actually bought some long sleeves. But the first one here is actually a white one. So it's just a white long sleeve with a drawstring little ruche in the middle. Once again, you can make this as short or long as you want. But I've had a similar shirt like this in the past and I'm absolutely in love with what it looks like. This is a nice thick material that isn't really see-through at all if you're wearing like a nude bra under it. I got this in a size small. I thought this was perfect and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Next one I got here is actually one of my favorite tops that I've ever owned that is a long sleeve. So this is just a black long sleeve here, size small, and it's nice and cropped so that you can wear it with a pair of high waisted jeans, a skirt, anything. I'm just in love with this top here. Okay, so the next two pieces aren't really fall related. They're swimsuits, and I only got these because they were on mega sale because since it is the fall season, it's not like anyone is really going out to the beaches or pools anymore. So the first swimsuit I have here is actually this pretty lilac number here. So the top actually looks like this. It is a scoop neck top here and you can actually tie the straps to the top to make it as tight or loose as you would like. And then this is what the bottoms look like. They are not that cheeky which is great. Love this. Got these swimsuits in a size medium just because I am size medium in Shein's undergarments and swimsuits and stuff. So yeah, 
love this one here and then the next one I have here is this orangey flower pattern so this is what the top looks like it's basically just a underwire type of top here the cups are a little bit small so I feel like if you have anything that's even a little bit bigger than mine you're honestly gonna fall out of these but you know what adjusted I feel like anyone can really make it work and then this is my favorite part of it these little hoops at the top I feel like these really set it apart from any other like type of bathing suit I feel like these are just to die for and then the bottoms look like this these aren't super cheeky to be honest I mean it really depends on your comfort level with these things but this is what they look like they're just stringy sides which I feel like is super flattering and then once again has those hoops at the side love this swimsuit and I'm super excited to pull it out next pool season that wraps up everything with Shein but the next store I'm going to touch on is going to be Target I only got one item from here which is going to be this cute little cropped sweater it's a great color got this in a size medium probably could have even with the small but it's nice and loose and has this v-neck at the top which i think is super flattering i feel like it's just the perfect little sweater to throw on top of leggings or jeans the material is also really comfy you're gonna be nice and warm this fall season the next place i also got just one item from is actually gonna be hollister i got this super pretty flannel skirt here i actually have a similar one from shein in my closet already that i actually hauled in a previous haul on this channel but this is definitely a fall skirt because of how thick the material is it has this lining in the inside and the flannel is actually such a thick almost jacket material which is really odd to think about but it makes the skirt so warm it's high-waisted and has the two slits at the bottom which I feel like were super trendy size medium I wish they had a small but this was in the sales section so they only had one size left which is the medium and also oh my goodness this skirt has pockets on the sides really happy with this skirt and definitely gonna be pulling it out of my wardrobe this fall season the next place I'm gonna go into is actually gonna be an American Eagle and I actually just got a couple of mom jeans from there American Eagle can be expensive but you know what I bought these when there was like a sale on the jeans and I feel like sometimes there's honestly always a sale on the jeans because these three pairs of jeans were all under $100 so the first pair that I got from there actually this dark blue wash pair of jeans have already worn these all a couple of times because I'm in love with how they look got these in a size 6 and I wish I did size down a little bit these are such a nice wash of jeans they have little rips on them which is just this little rip here and then at the bottom it's actually ripped and frayed it did have this weird like side fraying on it at first but then I cut that off <laughs> just because I like the straighter fraying look so just in love with how these look the next pair is this lighter wash jean this is similar to the other pair of jeans that I have from Tilly's but these have no rips at all because I wanted a basic blue jean that is where these came in once again a size 6 just once again super clean and high waisted as a mom jean should be the last clothing item and pair of jeans that I have is actually going to be this black pair right here. I needed a staple black mom jean in my closet so that is why I decided to go to American Eagle to get one. So once again a size 6. The only rips are at the knees and it's that super baggy mom jean look which I feel like looks super cute with a pair of air forces or something. So really happy with these pitch black mom jeans. Okay, so the next item I'm going to go into is actually a pair of shoes, and I actually did buy a pair of Converse. So, I know Converse can be a little bit expensive. They do run around like 50 something dollars, but I did buy these when there was a sale going on at DSW. It was like a fall sale where they had a 30% off coupon for most of the things on the website, and that is when I got these babies. They were originally like $55, but I got them for $38. Like, what? Oh my goodness, so insane. But anywho, let's just get into what they are. They are a pair of black high top converse. I feel like I had a pair of these when I was a kid, but these have become so trendy and a staple lately that I decided to get my hands on some of them. Also great with a pair of mom jeans, but love these shoes here. Got these in a size seven in women's, five in men's, and I'm just so excited to wear these out. I've already worn them like a couple times. The last category that I'm going to go into in this haul is going to be my jewelry category. So I did pick up a couple of pieces from Amazon because Amazon is a place where you can find a variety variety of jewelry types for such a cheap price tag which is really what I needed so I spent around like 60 bucks on nine pieces which is insane so I'm gonna first go into the silver jewelry pieces that I picked up the first one which is actually one I already wore is gonna be this double hoop necklace here which is a simple plain necklace with two hoops I feel like I saw this on Haley fam recently or like a necklace similar to this and I really love the look of the two little hoops a theme in this jewelry haul is that I wanted to get like trendy pieces for a cheap price you know 
dupe type of things. The next silver necklace thing that I actually got is gonna be this set right here. So it's basically just a set of this beaded necklace here with this circle one. These can be either combined or separated. I wanted to get necklaces that were sort of pre-layered because I suck at layering necklaces. So you know what, they did the job for me and I feel like this is such a great piece. The next jewelry pieces that I got were actually all gold because I love gold jewelry. I don't know what it is. I feel like it just goes so well with my tan skin tone. So the first one is actually this piece that I'm in love with. So it came in this little box here. This is by the brand Boca Look. So opening up the box, I bought this golden chain here. This is to die for. I got the longest option possible just because you can make it shorter or longer. It's all up to you. So it's just this golden snake chain here. This looks to die for on the skin and I think even layered with some necklaces this is going to look so cute and this was super inexpensive so I'm really happy that I decided to pick this up. The next necklace I got was going to be this little key necklace here. Just a little key on a chain. I feel like this is super simple and I'm in love with simplistic jewelry. So this is what I decided to go for. Really happy with this one. The next one I got was one that I felt like was on the trendy side. So it's actually this little angel baby necklace here. It has wings and it's a beaded sort of necklace. I think this looks so good on the models on Amazon. I felt like it would look cute on me. I feel like this is such a little statement piece that would look great with a little pair of gold hoop earrings. So I'm in love with this little necklace. Super inexpensive. And then last year actually in this little pouch here. This was a layered necklace trio but once again all separate so I can wear them separately if I would like. Starting off from the shortest necklace is this fake pearl beaded necklace here. I'm in love with this one here. I feel like this by itself would be to die for. I love necklaces with fake little pearls. Really super in love with this one. The next one is this little just plated necklace here. Just a gold plate. Honestly, you could probably engrave something into it, but this is perfect as is for me. Thought this was really simple for layering and just an essential, really. And the last one that is layered on that is this gold little coin necklace right here. I feel like I love the engraving sort of thing in it. And I think it just is super pretty. So just imagine, honestly, you're gonna see it in the try-on, but these three together, ugh, such a combo. And I feel like it's gonna look so good in the end. So with all those pieces, that is pretty much going to be it for this week's fall haul. I hope you guys got an insight into affordable pieces that can step up your wardrobe to the next level for this fall season. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single Friday. Push that bell notification to make sure you're here exactly when I post a new video. Follow me on my socials because I will definitely be posting photos in these pieces that I just hauled. So you're gonna wanna see how I pair up these outfits. I love you all to the moon and back and I can't wait to see you guys in next week's video. Bye cuties.